Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to hopefully show you how to make your own Tor Striker Plane Mate using some of these. Let's get into it. So hello everyone, welcome back, my name is Jack, this is Jack Lee Golf. You may have seen in prior videos that I like to use this training aid. This is the Tor Striker Plane Mate. Uh, I use it on myself, uh, I use it on pupils, find very beneficial results. However, a couple of drawbacks with this Tor Striker Plane Mate, as good as it is, very exclusive to get. So it's often on pre-order and it's very hard to get your hands on one and also it can be quite expensive. So I think I paid around about £220 for this. Hopefully in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a very cheap alternative and I do apologise to the guys at Tor Striker in advance if this takes off. So I'll just put a couple of clips in now uh, of me using the Tor Striker Plane Mate, whether it be myself or in lessons. I'll put them in for you now. So hopefully that gives you a bit of a better understanding of to how it works. In this little pouch here, this is one of the pieces of equipment that we're going to need today in order to make our own Playmate, as it were. What these are, are resistance bands. So you can see I've got extra heavy, I've got heavy, I've got medium, light. The one that we're going to be using today is the extra light one, just because out of all of them, it's the stretchiest. Another vital ingredient that we're gonna to need today, as well as a belt. This is a nice foot joy one, it doesn't have to be foot joy, it could be any belt that you like really. Okay, so thinking about how the Tor Striker Plane Mate works, like I said, there is a couple of videos on my channel, one where I do a full demonstration of how to use this and another one where I actually employ it in a teaching environment. Pop the belt on as so, the belt buckle goes to the front, this uh, plastic band goes around to the right hand side. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use the heavy resistance band because this is the one that's got the attachment on. So I've got my 7-iron, I'm going to clip it onto the balance point of this 7-iron, which is around about here. Tighten that up and then clip it onto my belt. So you can see that as I'm making a few swings, this plane mate wants to pull down on this shaft and shallow it that way. Three things that this plane mate is absolutely tremendous for. It's really good for keeping in a one piece takeaway as you're taking that club back, keeping everything connected. It's absolutely super for shallowing it in transition and also it's really good for keeping a lot of stability in that face on the way through. That's the main thing that I use it for. But if you haven't got 220 quid and you want to recreate these sensations, that's a bit of a weird sentence I know, uh, I'm hopefully today going to show you how we can do that. So follow me. Right, so first things first, we've got our extra light resistance band. This is a Calitec one, you don't have to be Calitec, you can buy any resistance bands online. What I'm going to do, there are two seam lines to this resistance band, I'm just going to get a Stanley knife and I'm going to slice it, slice it up. So we've just got one resistance band, there we go, so it should be nice and stretchy now. Right, second port of call, take your newly cut resistance band and I want you to tie it to the right hand side of your belt if you are a right hander golfer. If you're left handed, obviously it has to go on the left hand side of your belt. So roughly somewhere around about here. And I want to tie a real nice tight knot because this has to be really secure if we're doing it this way. So that's one that I'll probably double knot it for the sake of this. There we go, that looks pretty secure, nice and tight on there. Right, and now we have this stretchy bit coming off of our belt. What we've got to do next is tie it somehow to any part of the golf club really, I'm hoping um, that it's just gonna stick. Reason why I've put it so far high up the golf club in this occasion is because this band's a little bit shorter, so. Now obviously this is not gonna have the same effect as what a proper Tor Striker plane mate would. Those are designed for this exact purpose. The best thing about this though is that it's gonna give you similar sensations. So even if, even if we can't replicate the exact thing, it should help us just with a couple of those feelings. So one thing that I have done as a bit of a side note, is that I've made sure that the knot on this is to the right hand side. Can we see that? So the knot is around this side. That is very similar to the attachment being on the right hand side of the golf club. So we've got knot here, knot here, and then hopefully now as we start to make a few swings around our body, we have a bit of resistance here, which is good for letting that shaft shallow 
And again, it's also good for a bit of stability. Obviously, you guys can have a play around with the resistant band. So if you want to go for a slightly heavier one, obviously that's the same as going from a green band to a red band in essence. Red being the highest resistance, green band being the lightest resistance in the plane, mate. But if you don't want to be shelling out £220, this I think is a good substitute for the Toast Rack Playmate. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure you're doing the usuals of liking, sharing and subscribing. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And yeah, until next time, see you then. Later, bye.